Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Well, it's about 12.30. I have to work tomorrow. So it's pretty late to be starting a video. But this is probably going to be a shorter video. And I know I always say that. And it never usually happens. But this time, I think it will. And if it doesn't, I'll be happy. Because this time, we are trying something completely different. Completely, well not completely different. I mean, we're still going to be a Draconian. Must continue the love affair with Draconians. So we're going to try a Draconian Transmuter. And his name is Gronlinger. I've ran quite a few Gronlingers recently. Now... I find the best way to do this, and don't take my advice because I'm not very good at it, is unarmed combat and transmutations to start with. Essentially we're going to use beastly appendage initially. Uh, segue into sticks and snakes and use that gratuitously until we can reliably cast spider form. And with spider form it makes it a little easier. You've got a bit of a chance. Spiders are quick, so it acts as sort of a swiftness as well. You can get away and you can come in, bite, and do some poison kiting. It just seems like it's not a lot of things to train. Um, spider form also greatly increases your dodging, which is nice. So I can uh, basically ignore dodging, but I don't want to for long. And I'm going to have to get spellcasting up and fighting up. But that's about it. Unarmed, transmutation, spellcasting, fighting. Maybe poison one or two levels to hurry the spider form along. And dodging eventually when I get to it. That being said, uh, it does require careful play. And again, I'm not good at it. And it's going to be a short video. I might try a couple times. We'll see how long it takes. So we've run into a jackal pack already, which is bad news. No point in running away, but one hasn't seen me yet, so I'm going to step out of range. And now that I know there's jackals around, we'll try to take them all one at a time. I hit my apportation button, and we'll fight with our large bovine horns. I'm going to essentially be spamming Apportation. Apportation? Beastly Appendage. I'm looking at App there and I'm thinking Apportation. Okay, and this is a good sign already. We found some arrows. We're going to need those. Um, you used to be able to turn any club or uh, spear into snakes, uh, but that's been nerfed. You can only turn arrows into snakes, I think. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, somebody please correct me in the comments. Apportation. There we go. See? I got a little carried away already. And it was close to death. Memorize sticks to snakes. And let's carry on. So, sticks to snakes is essentially a summoning spell. The more powerful your transmutations are, the better snakes uh, uh, you'll summon. One problem with this build and all the spamming we have to do here uh, is that hunger is somewhat of an issue. Um, so I'm going to try and avoid even uh, casting Beastly Appendage. I'll try to get by with just our natural unarmed skill. Two of them, we can do that. Oh. I can't wear that, can I? No. That's alright. That's alright. The advantages of being a dragon will eventually become clear. And to give you a hint, apparently it's very powerful in dragon farm uh, form. Now we have uh, cold arrows here. And I believe enchanted arrows will summon better snakes. So that's a nice find. Let's just go out of the way here. Wait for him to come. He's not coming. There he is. 
once we hit level two, I believe we're ready for our uh, level three sort. Oh. Always find good stuff when uh, we can't use it. All crawl players will be familiar with the cruelty of the random number god. Down we go. Fighting, I'd like to get up to as quickly as possible. Now, there are a couple things that I'm not entirely clear on with transmitters. What to train? Are we a fighter that casts spells or a spellcaster that fights? Either way, 13 intelligence is pretty unacceptable for casting spells, so we're going to go with intelligence initially anyway. And because we are a draconian, we will get a random level boost, uh, well, a random stat boost. <clears throat> so strength could go up and dexterity could go up. I think dexterity is probably more important, uh, but we'll see. And let's just eat everything we kill. So, so far it looks pretty easy, and it is. I'm going to chop up this meat just in case we need it, and we did. So you might be thinking, hey, what are you talking about? This, this doesn't seem to be too difficult so far. But it is. Just not yet. It starts to get difficult about on the third floor. When you start to run into orc packs. Fledgling transmuters like we are. Uh, okay, trouble already. Uh, no, don't panic. We'll get... A snake, maybe even two snakes. Go back to our bare hands. Step back. Cast apportation and see if we can get the kill. We did. Okay, good. Wait out the poison. Excellent. What was I talking about? I forgot. It was something important though. Food, yes, we discussed food is a difficulty. We have three rotten chunks in our inventory right now. Oh yes, uh, what god to train? I uh, that is really a difficult question for me. I have no idea what makes a good transmuter god. Um, let's just focus on what we're doing here, and then I'll forget what I'm talking about again. Um, we can't cast apportation. We have no wands. Let's hope. We're just going to attack the snake and hope our snake does some good work there. He is poisoned again. There we go, level four. And we're stronger. Now we go for spider form. Spell is slightly dangerous to cast. It's 38%, which isn't terrible. It's not, it's not by any means good. But it is castable, and our snake seems to be hanging around a little more. I'm not sure if snakes steal your experience. Do they behave as summons or or not? Something I should look into. As for a god, you'd think Okuaru. That would make some good sense, some good horse sense. Um, but Okuaru's gifts will be more or less useless, especially considering we're a draconian. Sifmuna? I mean, we can channel, but I mean, yeah, we might be able to eventually get some utility spells, but generally if you wait for Sifmuna to give you Blink, you are waiting for a very long time indeed. Vehement? I mean, there's, there's no reason to go with Vehement, and uh, none of the spells we're using are, are even uh, Conjuration, so he doesn't support them. And, you know, if we're going to go with Vehement, we might as well... If we, if we don't want to be a Conjurer, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, that leaves Maclub, I think is a pretty decent choice. HP back on kills, and um, you've got summons. I think Maclub's a pretty decent choice. Uh, and also, Fetus. Uh-oh, trouble. Um, we're going to go into spider form and uh, we'll start uh, 
spidering them. As you can see, spider form does excellent work. And I can't believe I'm not hungry yet. Uh, at this point, I am going to turn off unarmed combat and get some poison magic. We are focused purely on getting spider form more castable. So now it's a matter of hope for the best. Probably shouldn't tab fight, but uh, what the heck. More arrows. That's pretty good. And uh, next opportunity we're going to try the arrow frost. I just want to see if a spear still works. I don't think it does. Wield the spear, cast, sticks to snakes. We're not wielding the spear. Wield the spear, cast sticks to snakes. No, it just feels slithery. And we wasted some food there. But that's okay because we have three chunks. So let's, uh, next opportunity we get to cast sticks to snakes is... See, there's uh, two pips of hunger and beastly appendage. Or... It's hungry business, this transmuter. Um, we're going to go into spider and just take him out that way. It's just safer. And of course our chunks have rotted. Also we tend to take a lot of damage as a transmuter and that means a lot of waiting. Uh, we're going to go into spider form here because there will definitely be some food. And as you can see spider form makes pretty short work of them. It also saves me a lot of damage so it, it's probably worth the hunger cost. Do we have poison magic on? Yes we do. Okay, that's level three. That's fine work. Spider, spider, spider. Uh, as you can see, our evasion goes up to 19, and that's with no dodge training whatsoever. Another benefit of being a dragon, aside from eventually being able to cast dragon form, uh, I shouldn't be fighting like this between the two of them, is... Uh, the breath attack. So that gives you another option once you get to level 7 to do some damage. It depends on what sort of draconian we're going to turn into. That's always a mystery. Always a lot of fun to find out. As a spider you can also cast spells and that sort of thing and cling to walls. And we've got ourselves an early temple. Get him good and poisoned and then we can just kite him. And here comes the big decision. Well, we've got Fetus, Ash and Zari. I can't, I don't have a weapon to curse, so that is one area I will not be bound. So I think Ash and Zari is out. Che? I've, actually, I've never actually tried Che. Kiku? I mean, I could transmute aside an army of undead. That'd be kind of interesting. I might keep that in mind. Nemlex. Again, I don't have a lot of experience with Nemlex. But we're not much of a, uh, an evoker. Um, let's try out in the spring. I don't want to bother training evocations. Scroll and move curse. Oh, I was pretty confident that was identify. There's identify. Positive energy, well, that's where we don't have much other choice. <sighs> I don't know. Followers of Dithmenos are constantly surrounded in an aura of shadow, so I imagine that means stealth, the extent of which is reflective of their level of devotion. I think I've read this before grants followers the ability to instantly step into the shadow of nearby creatures. It's good for stabbing. Protects followers by occasionally shrouding those uh, dark smoke. Um, and you get some sort of uh, shadow <clears throat> ally, I suppose. And form the shadow of itself. That's, that's a little transmutey. Let's go with MacLab, though. 
Why not? He's a general, all-purpose sort of god. We'll try on the ring and identify the ring. It is cursed. It is hunger. Would be nice to get a beneficial mutation here. Luckily, we've got plenty of remove curse scrolls. Let's drop the ring. And identify a couple more potions. Berserk Rage will come in handy as a transmuter. Don't want to forget any of those. Enchant weapon we don't have, so it's absolutely useless to us. Teleportation. Spider form is still 24%, so we're going to continue to train poison and transmutations. We will turn poison off at around 2, I think. Blink. Handy. Wish I didn't have to waste one. Immolation. Immolation is uh, basically a death trap for a transmuter. And here's some trouble. That wand will come in handy. Um, and what did I say we were going to do? We were going to summon a snake. Uh, let's step behind the snake. Let's turn into a spider. And start biting him. We took some serious damage, so we'll step away. I probably could have stepped away a lot better than that. Our transmutation is almost over, and our poison is at 2. We're at level 6. Get some more intelligence. And eat our victim. That worked out rather well. And that is one of the problems of being... Uh, Mac Lab Worshipper. I'm going to turn on spellcasting to reduce hunger. Um, we won't be able to sacrifice too many corpses because, well, Mac Lab, because of all the eating we're going to have to do. I'm going to sacrifice these guys. Mac Lab Piety will come in handy because uh, he does give us some more options. This is going to be useless, but I cannot resist checking it out. Or we'll sacrifice. Also, it's probably the best thing to identify our... Ooh, random effects. Okay, I thought it was fire at first. Natasha, let's turn into a spider and rush her. She'll go down very quickly. Sacrifice her. There, we just killed the Hobgoblin, who was wearing our Cursed Ring of Hunger. And we're going to go into spider form again to take care of these fellows. Poison is effective against poison enemies. We are getting very hungry now. And we don't have a lot in the way of permafood, so we're going to have to... Did we forget to sacrifice? No. We're going to have to sacrifice or eat one of our victims. Okay, we've got a pile of enemies coming at us, but that shouldn't be a cause for too much alarm. We'll just poison them all. And then eat our fill. Somehow we got drained in there. We're going to use beastly appendage for this guy. Okay. And after that, we're still hungry, somehow. Um, I think we'll just go with Beastly. And we made it. Uh, did we leave any corpses? I don't think we did. Okay, no corpses. And we are drained, which is not good. Did that do anything to our spider form? We are dependent on that. 17%, not bad. We will live. There's Natasha again. Let's kill her probably for the final time. Get her wand. Eat this corpse. And now we have a wand 
of flame and some blinking scrolls. Good, down we go. We might have to use all these things. We got some more perma food. Uh, let's random effects. Oh, great. Um, we'll probably get away with. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Mankari, I don't know. We'll wand him. Hit him with the wand of flame. Oh, he's heavily damaged already. Good. I think he's susceptible to fire. Excellent. And that's level 7. What color will we change into? A red draconian. I'm not sure if this is good or not. We are heat resistant. Um, we're susceptible to cold. And we can breathe fire. The fire is probably a pretty good thing. I think we can probably take him up with just apportation. Or, uh, I always say that. Uh, spider forms of 14%. I don't want to turn off transmutations, but we're going to turn on fighting and get a little fighting. Beastly appendage, I mean. I'm not sure if we have gloves, but we'll pick these up, and our gloves are cursed. When we get an opportunity, we'll try try the new gloves, see if they're enchanted a little more. Another ring, and let's hope it's resistant to cold. A ring of wizardry. That's very good. That helps our spider form. And now we can memorize blade hands. Blade hands is sort of what you want. And it's not too bad thanks to our Ring of Wizardry. It is a pure transmutation spell. Um, blade Hands. This spell causes long, scythe-shaped blades to grow from the caster's hands. It makes spellcasting somewhat difficult. Well, that's okay, because Blade Hands really does a great job. Uh, we could also get Ice Form, but it's not very good. It's not bad. But we don't really need it when we have blade hands. Nevertheless, we, since we have the ring of wizardry, we won't, won't focus on transmutations. We can probably get by with spider form for a while. And we're going to have to get our dodging up. I shouldn't have just walked right into him, but... We have one pip of piety from MacLab too. But that doesn't do anything for us. Not yet. MacLab has yet to bestow his benefits upon us. But now we've got some tools in our arsenal. We can, uh, we can breathe fire. We've got a couple of wands. And it will very soon be time to start working on defense. Because I am quite uncomfortable with our level of dodging. I just want this hunger to stop so we can get some piety. Crimson Imp, we can take him out with Beastly Appendage. Let's soften him up with some random effects. Oh, that softened him quite nicely. Right now my focus is on trying to avoid hunger. However, in this case, we're going to breathe our fire. Ooh, that did great work. He recovered a little bit somehow. We'll want random effects him. We will flame him. Turn into a spider. Hit him with another random effect. Oh. Apparently we can't use wands. There we go. And we're going to sacrifice him. Just in case MacLub cares about uh, uniques. I'm not sure if he does. Uh, 
Oh, again. Of course we find a very nice weapon. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. So beautiful I might use it. Why not? It's going to save. It's going to save us quite a bit of hunger. Put the hat on. Now, what happens if we change the spider form? Oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah, we're going to use the quarterstaff. It'll save hunger. It'll build piety. And it'll make the uh, next few dungeon levels go pretty quickly, I think. Bit of luck. We're not going to use it permanently, we're just going to use it to get some experience. Blade Hands is down to 16%. Oh, look at this. Well, let's see what this is. I can't resist. 7 plus 12 Dagger of the Volcano. Wow. I don't know what to use, the quarterstaff or the volcano. <laughs> okay, let's uh, step back on the stairs. Wait for him to come around the corner. I'd like for him to take another step. I'm not sure if he will. I think he's getting ready to smite. Okay, beautiful. I could have used my uh, breath there, actually. I'm going to here. Well, that's quite effective. So because of this uh, quarterstaff find, um, this would have basically made a good run for anybody. I don't care what sort of... Uh, I love it. I don't care what sort of um, character I started finding a weapon like this of this power early in the dungeon is kind of a kind of a win button really. How dare you? How dare you give me trouble? Um I'm going to sacrifice you to my god. Just because you were trouble, I'll deal with the hunger. And because I have this, I'm going to turn off fighting for now, and it's time to start training some dodging. What's our hunger on our spells? Still very hungry. Manageable, though. I don't want to turn off transmutations. Uh, I'll turn off spellcasting just, just to get some dodging in now. Oh, seriously, poison now. We can remember to use Berserk Rage once in a while, and I can't believe this, but we haven't identified curing, and it's not immediately obvious as to what curing is. So, let's read some scrolls. Fear. Magic mapping, that's useful. That's why I sometimes like to test my scrolls. Gormond, very useful. I sometimes like to test my scrolls on an, an unknown dungeon level like this, but occasionally you get a teleportation and you end up in a nasty place. What was I doing? Oh, identifying potions. Give me an experience, a beneficial mutation would be nice. Invisibility, mutation, paralysis. Purple or gluggy? Let's go for a metallic purple potion, potion of magic. Drop the junk. And let's continue on. Uh-huh. We've got random effects. 
Did that do it? No. That did it. What a time for an orc priest to come out. Um, but I do have fire, so that's what we'll use. Okay, that worked. Uh, we're near starving. Might be time to spider, but I don't want to get... I don't want to be starving. We are starving. Is there something simple to eat here? Yeah, grape. First take out the priest. Let's run away. We're going to be slow because we're starving. I think I have to eat something more substantial than a grape. We'll eat a pear. And now we should be able to fight a little more effectively. We are surrounded. Let's get back here. We can use our fire breath now. And that did excellent work. Let's random effects. And I don't like him because he's hasted. I'm going to random effect him one more time. That did some damage. And he's still oh, a little far away from us. There we go. Okay, we'll sacrifice these two. Cut up the frog. Casually swap the hobgoblin. Take out the fungal colony and let's go. And I think we have a Mac Lab ability. Yes, we do. Minor destruction. Uh, I think we're going to have to train some evocations or invocations. What do we have to train? Doesn't tell us. I would think it would be invocations. Well, let's not worry about it for now. We have our Staff of Justice here. Careful now. There we go. Let's hit them with fire. Excellent. And we can staff them down now. I'll sacrifice the whole lot of them. The hobgoblin we can eat. Oh, we should have saved it for the hound, but the hound did not leave us a corpse. What to do? Let's try the new wand. Plenty of wizards here. Sea invisible would be useful. I think we're going to turn into a spider. Let's back off a little bit. And what do you know, a hungry ghost. Can I use my breath attack? I don't think I can. Oh, I can get a lesser servant of Maclib, but I do not want to give up the piety right now. We'll just take him out with our fangs. Level 9, we're going to have to raise intelligence again. That's part of the reason these spells are so hungry. Okay, good. Let's check our spell hunger again. Three pips still. We've got a long way to go. Did I turn off spell casting? I think I did. But dodging's more important right now. Let's actually turn spell casting on. Our spells are castable. I'd like to get them more powerful. Spider form is nowhere near half, so let's just keep everything on and slowly train it. Another three wizards. Luckily we're fire resistant. I'd like to get them into the hallway here and we'll use our breath attack. <laughs> Beautifully done. Let's climb up. 
target the priest and that wasn't really very difficult at all. I'm so confident I'll go back down the same staircase, take a couple steps, turn to a spider, poison, and kite him. Excellent. The, uh, I was just reading what happened there. I was a little worried, but we were just untransforming. The spider is doing some pretty heavy-duty work now. Watch the potions. We're okay. And add a benefit to the staff is its holy wrath. And we don't have a lot of ammunition against undead creatures. We don't have to worry about it getting corroded either. There's a shield up there. It might be interesting to try that. I'll, I'll pick it up. I think it's going to interrupt our spell casting. Let's try it on. I think it'll not our spell casting necessarily, but our our unarmed combat. And if we're in if we're in beast form, it won't uh, it won't help us anyway. So it's probably not something I want to pursue this game. Enchant armor. We will enchant. Well, gloves seem pretty common in this dungeon. We'll enchant the hat. Since we can only wear hats and not helmets, there's probably less likely we'll find a hat than what a fourth pair of gloves. Uh, okay, he's starting to shoot cold at us, so we'll just finish him off quickly. And there's a centaur. We'll try this wand out on him magic darts I've got some decent piety here we'll get a lesser servant of Macleb up transform our evasion is now at 23 so I'm not saying we could just ignore the centaur strikes but we're a lot better off with a 23 dodge, dodging arrows, then. Then 14, that's actually not bad for evasion. It's only at 5, too. Check our spell hunger, still at 3 pips for spider form. Oh, and there's some boots. And it's time to remove that curse. We've got nine of them, so let's just try on all these gloves. They're all plus zero, so let's drop them. And drop the shield. We can always come back for it. Blade Hands is very hungry. I'm going to avoid using that. get some snakes in play here. Swarm them with snakes. Excellent work, boys. Excellent work. Go get him while we're at it. While I sacrifice these guys. And we'll eat this one. So the snakes are pretty handy too. Uh, one of those casts summoned, uh, I think, three snakes. Not exactly a multitude, but not bad. And we are not training on armed combat. That should be trained.
let's just focus on on our combat. Get it up to about ten. Our spells are castable. Unarmed combat and spell casting. There we go. I am kind of winging it, but our spells are castable. We've got, including our breath, we've got plenty of options. Oh, and we have a amulet of the gourmand too. Why aren't I eating? Let's try this amulet on. We'll identify that and the gluggy potion. Conservation. I think I'm better off with Gourmand. We're going to have to wait for it to kick in again, but that's no problem. And are we wielding our staff? No. Holy Wrath makes short work of them. Joseph, hello! Let's transform and poison him. I'm tempted to whack him with a staff once and see what happens. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we ex exchanged uh, staff strikes there, but now it's time to get dodgy. Now it's time to panic. Heal wounds. Berserk rage? No, heal wounds. Heal wounds. Heal wounds. And then berserk rage. Ha! Excellent. Okay. Let's calm down. We got him, that's the important thing. Ooh, interesting, a book of war chants. This is kind of in line with what we're doing. Um, certainly regeneration. And the uh, the shroud of uh, Galubria, and even repel missiles. Let's keep it in mind. We've got too much to train now. I think I at least want regeneration. I fell right into my trap, Centaur. On arms up to six. And what a nice shop. We found some good gloves. This particular dungeon has been a cornucopia of gloves. Resist cold. Damage minus three. Resist cold. Damage minus three. I don't like that damage minus three, at least not at this stage. Once we start dishing out incredible damage, it might be worthwhile then. Wait around the corner here. We are sick. Let's sacrifice everything. We have lost some hit points. Time to cure out of it. And I can't stand having a hit point missing. So I used two curing potions there. They're common enough. As are hats, apparently. Let's try it on. Plus zero, we'll keep the plus one. And we can always come back for it. We will hang on to those gloves, however. And we've got to that hungry point again. Did I leave a corpse here? No. Luckily we've got no end of food rations to eat. Down we go. Elves! Uh, I'd love to kill that elf, and I will. It takes great restraint not to kill the elf immediately. And things are getting serious now. Let's turn into a spider. We're standing on the stairs, so we should be okay. Level 10, get both yaks poisoned. Two yaks is enough. 
Let's take them on one at a time in the hallway here. Excellent. Chop them up. Oh, there's only one. And uh, use our Gourmand. Wow. Up we go. Please, up. Um... Um... Scroll of blinking? Doesn't quite warrant a scroll of blinking, but fear is alright. Unfortunately, it doesn't affect the whites. Let's back off. And our transformation. Wield our staff. And that should make very short work of the whites. Waste of a scroll of fear. I should have known that whites cannot be uh, scared off. Makes total sense. Now we're drained and it's not the end of the world. Probably not drained badly. Let's see if we can fight the axe with just our staff. Um, we'll also employ fire, why not? Time to change into a spider. And that went wonderfully, didn't it? We'll cut up two. And see if we can eat our fill here. I think six will be enough to get us to engorged. Too much. Sacrifice the rest of them. And onward we go. The bear started fleeing and went berserk at the same time. A lot of these, we're going to have to keep in mind to uh, keep a wand to shoot them down. We don't have any other options. Elves. Burn, elf. I think we're okay. We'll pass the turn. The elf is dead, so those bears should go away. Okay. And I knew it. I said this was going to be a short run, and it's turning out to be my best transmuter run ever. Looks like we have found the... Uh, Orc mines. Let's just make sure a bunch of them follow us. And we'll fight them in this hallway here. Uh, we'll also employ some fire. And I think we'll uh, go the spider route. Ooh, we've backed ourselves into a corner now. No reason to fear. We can get a greater servant of Macleb. But I think the lesser will do. Oh. Okay. The uh, servant has turned on us. We're going to blink here. We're going to read a scroll of teleportation. And we're going to fight our way out. Uh, we died. That's right, the orc had a polearm weapon. I should have healed. Curse you, Maclib. Curse you. Okay, but uh, now I know what I'm doing, so look forward to more Draconian Transmuter runs in the near future. I uh, also was pretty lucky, too, getting that staff. We're going to have to deal with Transmuter runs that don't involve having death staffs like that. And uh, the fire breath seems to be the most effective breath. It's quite nice. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with our next Draconian. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.